Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's LT and today we're actually moving off of the F-150 408 Windsor swap just for a little bit. Uh, mainly because number one, I really hate Fords at the moment, but actually number two, because I'm really just waiting on the appropriate flex plate that I need to convert or to attach this internally balanced 408 Windsor to the E40D that is in the F-150. A um, couple of different options there and I'll go over those in the next video, but uh, that means I get a little bit of time to install something that I've had sitting on the shelf for a little while for Ugly Truck. That's my turbocharged and 8.1 swapped 2000 Silverado 1500. Um, and that is specifically fixing the tow haul feature in the transmission or rather in the computer. Now that's not because I have any interest in towing with the truck, but tow haul mode is actually just a different shift strategy that you can program into the transmission. And I'm gonna actually use it to modify how the thing shifts and use it for like say a roll racing situation. I can raise the shift points, I can change when the converter locks, I can hold a gear to make it not shift until say wide open throttle. You can do a whole lot of cool stuff with it, but it's just really nice to be able to have two different shift strategies. You know, one for driving around every single day, you can lower the line pressure. I, I don't know if you can actually change the line pressure between the two modes. I, don't think you can now that I think about it, but you can definitely change the shift points and when the converter locks up. Um, so I haven't done any diagnostics on this yet. I bought the part totally on a hunch and I'm pretty sure it's just the actual button in the shifter handle that's preventing this thing from going in. Now this is a pretty common part. I bought it, it's a Dorman. I think I picked it up from Amazon. It's just like a new shift lever, comes with a new button and everything in place and a new shift boot, which is nice because mine is like old and destroyed anyway because the truck is, like 20 years old and it has well over 300,000 miles on it. So that's the project for today. Uh, oh, one other cool thing I did want to mention is uh, I do a lot of roll racing with this truck. Eventually I'm going to get a built transmission with a trans brake in it. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to be getting a two-step rev limiter and I can use the tow haul mode to hold a certain gear and the two-step to give me kind of like a rolling two-step boosted launch feature, which I think will be really, really cool and hopefully will make for some awesome launches or just awesome rolling burnout. So uh, that's a future video today. Today we're just doing the tow haul switch replacement, so let's get to it. So first I actually did forget to put the little rubber boot over the shift handle, but it's just stretchy enough that I could kind of barely slip it over the end of the handle right there. I did a function test and tow haul mode works. A really simple conversion if you're just gonna be replacing the shifter. There's a single T30 screw right down there. That's what holds the shift handle kind of into the steering column mechanism. 
and the wires are run underneath. There are two spots, one there and one a little bit lower that kind of clip into little holes and that is what routes the wire. And there's a plug underneath right there. It's kind of behind this little protective shield that I'll put back on. And that's literally all it takes to replace the shift handle. I think all told it took me like 15, maybe 20 minutes to kind of take everything apart and get it swapped out. So not a big deal at all. And now we have tow haul mode. So we'll get this put back together and then we'll work on the computer side of things. Okay, so the button's in, I did a quick function test so I know everything is working. And it's worth mentioning that if you have a stock truck or a truck that hasn't really been changed a whole lot, you don't have to do any sort of tuning changes to enable the tow haul feature. It should already be in there, especially if you've got like a 99 and newer truck. You can actually enable tow haul on like say my Suburban where I did an 0411 swap, you can actually enable it in that, but that requires a little bit extra wiring stuff. Uh, but anyway, yeah, if you have a stock truck and you've just replaced the button, no tuning changes are necessary. But let me show you how I'm going to set this one up to take advantage of the tow haul mode and tweak the transmission to how I like. Now, there's several different options you can go through. And I'll start right here in the Shift General tab uh, under Performance. And anything that HP Tuners calls a performance, but that's actually the tow haul mode. Um, so right here, this is where the majority of the changes are going to take place in the performance shift table. That's going to be what lets me hold a gear. And I haven't tested this out yet, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll work, but we'll find out in a second. Uh, so basically, I have my 1-2 shift not happen until the truck reaches 45 miles an hour, kind of right there. The 2-3 shift won't happen until 75, and the 3-4 shift won't happen until we get to 105 miles an hour. And that'll basically let me put the truck in gear, apply the tow haul button, and then I can, you know, kind of roll on and off the throttle as much as I want, and it won't execute that shift until basically we reach wide open throttle conditions. So I set the shift to occur um, in the part throttle ranges just a few miles an hour before where it would normally occur at wide open. So basically it should hold the gear. And then to prevent it from downshifting, let's say I'm in second gear at a low speed and I'm mad at it, I don't want it to downshift to first gear until I'm coasting to a stop. So I set my downshift rows uh, two to one at nine miles an hour, three to two at 15 miles an hour, and four to three at 22. Now I may have to adjust these three depending on how much throttle I put at what mile an hour, but I'm pretty sure I'll never get to a zone where it will actually downshift. Now there's a few, this is kind of where the meat and potatoes of the shifting is gonna happen, but there's a few other things. And everything that you see here in red in performance mode, that those are all the changes that'll take place when tow haul is selected. So we got full throttle shift speed. Um, I've basically kept this the same as I had it before because I really liked where the truck shifted. Uh, I might've tweaked it by like a mile an hour or two. We have full throttle shift RPM. Again, I liked where the truck shifted under wide open throttle. So I, I think I added like 25 RPM here. So the truck, this thing performs well when it shifts right at about 5,000 RPM. Um, so that's your shift scheduling when the shifts are gonna happen. But we also have shift pressures that we can modify. And again, I had most everything set up to where I wanted it. So I've only, the rest of this stuff is only gonna be tweaked ever so slightly. Um, so you have normal for when you're cruising around, then I added just a little bit of shift pressure when we're in tow haul mode. And then we have shift timing. This is how long the shift takes to execute. Usually a little bit shorter duration results in a little bit crisper shift. You don't want to zero this out. So we've got performance I have right now at 0.175 of a second. That's kind of where my shift tables were before. So we've got normal. You can see up here at full torque is going to happen at that same speed anyway. Um, then we have the torque converter. We have apply and release. This one I have it set up. So basically the torque converter should never lock 
under any situation when we're in tow haul mode. So uh, I don't think the converter clutch that I have is very strong, so I kind of have it set up that way so it never should lock under wide open throttle, but these two tables right here are what you can adjust to your liking. And then finally, torque management, we can actually change in tow haul mode how much torque is pulled out for each shift. And again, I tweaked it slightly. Um, because I have a stock transmission, I don't wanna zero this torque management out. You can do that if you want, but generally I wouldn't recommend it unless you have a really solidly built transmission. Basically this just pulls timing and makes the transmission's job a little bit easier when it comes time to make that shift. So um, I had like 75% torque management up here before, now I've only got about 50%. I think I took like 25% of the overall setting away. And that's more or less the changes that you can make to your transmission in tow haul mode and again you can tailor this to how you want it but the main goal that i have here is under the shift scheduling performance mode like this two three shift basically that'll allow me when i get my two step in to bring it up to second gear and i'll have the two step on a little button there and i can apply the button go wide open throttle and it'll stay right there on the two step building boost and it shouldn't shift until we actually get to that wide open throttle after i've let off the button so i'll show you guys all that in a future video whenever the uh, two step thing does show up but for now let me just get this tune flashed onto the truck and we'll just take it for a quick test drive really to make sure that the tow haul mode is doing what it should So to verify function, all we're going to do is just take off. I have tow haul mode engaged and basically the transmission should not shift until we get to wide open throttle. So here we go. After the cement trap. Okay, so tow haul mode on and I am in drive position three. So normally we're, okay, we're doing 30 miles an hour. Normally it would shift by now, 3000 RPM. It'll just hold the gear. So what I'm going to do now is I'll turn tow haul mode off. It makes the shift like it normally would. Now we should be in third gear based on my normal shift strategy. So now, so converter just locked. I'm going to shift back to tow haul mode. The converter will unlock. It just kind of did it right there. And now I should be able to floorboard it and it will not downshift. So here we go. Yeah, did exactly what it should do. So tow haul mode is working. And now our roll race mode is almost ready. I just got to get that two-step installed. So I will say thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I know this was a short video, but uh, they're all fun to make. And to me, it's just cool to kind of restore this functionality that the truck had built in, but was just missing because of that one little broken wire on the stock shift knob or handle or whatever you want to call it. Uh, anyway, you guys know what to do. Click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I uh, can't wait to get that two-step on. So stay tuned for those videos. Um, Catch you again in another couple of days, guys. Thanks for watching.